This video is produced by the UCD Math Support Center in conjunction with the UCD Access Center. In this video we will be looking at scientific notation. So we'll be looking at an example of how to write a number using scientific notation. In our example we will use 2,351,621. Our first step is to move the decimal point until we get a number between 0 and 10. For our number we can imagine that the decimal point is at the very right hand side as if it's just after the last one and the following numbers after the decimal points are all zeros. So what we do is we move our decimal point from there to the left until we get 2.351621. So this is our new number B. Now we have to count the number of decimal places that we have moved and let this number be C. So in our case, we moved from the right hand side just after the last one, six places to the left until we got 2.351621. So C for us is the number of places, which is six. Now if the decimal point was moved to the left, we allow D to be plus C. If the decimal point is moved to the right, we allow D to be minus C. So the decimal point may be moved to the right if, for instance, we have a number such as 0 0.0042. We would move the decimal point to the right until we got 4.2. So in that situation, C would be 3. D would then be minus 3 as the decimal point is moved to the right. So for us, we move to the left, which means D is equal to plus C. It stays the same, so it is 6 still. The final answer in scientific notation is written down as B times 10 to the power of D. So 2,351,621 is equal to 2.5. 351621, which is B from step 1, times 10 to the power of 6, and the 6 was found using steps 2 and 3. Using scientific notation makes calculations with larger numbers much easier, so we will look at addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, and how to use powers in scientific notation. So to do addition or subtraction, we first must identify the number whose power has the largest magnitude. So magnitude being the size of the number. Convert it so that both digits are multiplied by the same power of 10. Factor out the power of 10 from both digits. Add and subtract the two digits. And round the final answer as needed. So we're looking at an example to solidify this idea. 1.6726 times 10 to the minus 27 plus 9.1 times 10 to the minus 31. So firstly, we need to identify the number whose power has the largest magnitude. So the powers are minus 27 and minus 31. So the magnitude of minus 27 or the size is the absolute value. So it's, my, it's 27. The magnitude of minus 31 then is 31. So we can rewrite this as 1.6726 times 10 to the minus 27. This will remain the same. And we rewrite 9.1 times 10 to the minus 31 as 9.1 times 10 to the minus 4 times 10 to the minus 27. This leaves us with 1.6726 plus 0 0.00091, which is the 9.1 times 10 to the minus 4 from the previous line. And this is all multiplied by 10 to the minus 27. So we factor out the power of 10 from both of these digits. And adding these two digits together then gives us 1.67351 times 10 to the minus 27 as our final answer. So the laws of indices would be very helpful in doing multiplication and division. 
to multiply 2 together. We simply multiply the two digits, so 6.022 times 10 to the 23, multiplied by 1.380 times 10 to the minus 23, is equal to 6.022 times 1.38, so that is the numbers in front of the 10 of each scientific notation number, multiplied by 10 to the 23 minus 23. So 23 minus 23 coming from the laws of indices. And this leaves us with 8.31. When we look at division, we follow roughly the same idea as multiplication. So above, we multiplied the decimal parts together and we multiplied the 10 powers together. In division, we will divide the decimal parts and we will also then divide the powers of 10. So 6.674 times 10 to the minus 11 divided by 9 times 10 to the 16. We will write one number on top of the other. So 6.674 times 10 to the minus 11 on top of 9 times 10 to the 16 as a fraction. What we do next is split this fraction. So we have the decimal parts of the number, the 6.674 all over the 9 as one fraction, multiplied by 10 to the minus 11 all over 10 to the 16 as another fraction. 6.674 over 9 is equal to 0 0.7416 and using the laws of indices 10 to the minus 11 all over 10 to the 16 becomes 10 to the minus 11 minus 16 and minus 11 minus 16 is equal to minus 28 giving us our final answer of 7.416 times 10 to the minus 28. So the laws of indices also help when we have numbers raised to a power. So if we take 3 times 10 to the 8, all squared, all we do is distribute the power of 2 into the number. So we take 3 squared times 10 to the 8, all squared, leaves us with 9 times 10 to the power of 8 times 2, using laws of indices, which is equal to 9 times 10 to the 16.